For more on this, let's bring in Dr. Archana Sadhu. She is the director of the System Diabetes Program at Houston Methodist and a board-certified endocrinologist specializing, uh, specializing in diabetes. Dr. Sadhu, you are currently actually attending the conference where this recent data was released. We're so grateful that you're joining us. You know, when we, when we learn more about this drug, I'm sort of curious what's going to happen when you get off the drug. Are you going to be gaining the weight? Are we starting to see people sort of yo-yo back and forth? Well, thank you for having me. Yes, it was really exciting uh, results that were presented for the first time yesterday on oral semaglutide or the pill version of Ozempic and Wigovi. One of the problems with these drugs is they're highly effective, and that was the point of this um, release of the results. They were as effective in pill form as they were in injection. But with injection, we know that uh, patients tend to come off of them over time. And unfortunately, once you come off the drug, um, you actually don't um, have the weight loss effects any longer. So uh, hopefully this oral formulation will help patients uh, stay compliant and get the um, long-term effects that the drug has. You know, uh, I'm, I'm curious about the, the impact on your hormones, the digestive system, your brain. As you mentioned, when you take that for a period of time and then you get off it, do we know really the long-term effects, not just on people who have diabetes, because obviously the drug has been around for some time, but it hasn't been used just for weight loss? That's a great point. Um, all of the studies are usually about a year, a little more than a year long, and they track for all the side effects that you can in that period of time. But for instance, um, these results were also showing a signal for different types of cancers, and uh, those take much longer to track and address. So um, in that sense, uh, we don't know the long-term effects. You know, Doctor, what surprised you most from what you learned over the weekend? I think all of us were a bit surprised that it's, you know, now you can ingest it and it's no longer an injectable if you don't want it to be. But what else really stood out to you? Well, I think the remarkable efficacy of these drugs is what's most impressive. And, um, you know, obesity is an underlying condition for many other chronic conditions, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, which have even more long-term and other um, complications. So we do need to address obesity in an effective uh, way, and these drugs are helping us do that. Uh, but it isn't the one and only solution to our public health crisis of obesity. Obviously, we need to start with our young children and educate them from the very beginning beginning on what is healthy eating and keeping physically active and keeping your weight optimal. Uh, but in the meantime, we also do need to address this public health crisis for the many adults that suffer from obesity and its complications. And um, these drugs can are proven to do that. So uh, we they have a role for, for many of our patients. Um, and, you know, we still need to do our public health uh, duty in terms of long-term prevention of obesity and its complications. You know, doctor, I don't have too much uh, time left, but you mentioned the efficacy and how impressive it is. But does that give you pause as a doctor that something so simple as a pill could simply make you drop weight with really little to no effort? As, as a medical professional, does that not worry you? Well, of course, as you mentioned, the long-term effects will not be really seen uh, maybe for a decade from now. But when we treat patients with obesity and we struggle uh, with controlling all of these other medical complications, it actually has been empowering for both the physician as well as the patient to basically cut the cycle uh, and drop this weight. And then we can move to the next step of maybe transitioning off the drug and maintaining the weight loss. That is the hope that we don't have to rely on drugs um, lifelong, uh, but at least in the present moment, the patient can see some uh, dramatic weight loss and have positive reinforcement for other changes in their life that can continue to help them stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.